Okay, what we've got here is a, a lot of models. Look at all these models. A lot of them are very old models. Uh, David Tudor Cole, a uh, regular on the channel, your regular viewer of the channel, came all the way from across country and, and bought us these models to resurrect, you might say. Now, we've already seen Bill has flown this one, the nitro one, had the big warp in the wing like a propeller, and he still flew it. Did really well. Good on you, Bill. But we've got some other ones looking in here, something with an OS on it. I don't know what that is. Um, there's a bit of a glider tail there. We've got glider wing over there. Oh, the silver, that's a black magic. That silver thing is a black magic. Anyone who flew models in the 60s will remember a black magic, an old nitro plane. Some of these are in pretty bad repair, but hey, half the fun is getting them going again. Look at those big tall glider wings, the, the orange ones there. Look at look how look how big those wings are. So much potential. Another glider tail, so much potential. Tissue covered glider. Whoa, and we've got a wing there with ailerons so much oh i see something red lurking under there. there's so many airframes here so really going to spend some time um pulling them out now i think ron's taking something away to get flying i'm going to do my best to go through here while the fine weather's here hey make the most of it it's and while you can actually come out to the the workshop and do something and i've got this little stick here i might even try getting this going for the weekend this little stick i've got a 30 size motor there somewhere throw it in that there's the wing for it it'll take a bit of work it needs some um needs some work um servo rails or something i don't know who knows oops anyway so that's it and there's the outlaw 250 the latest one because i had to do it all again i lost the i formatted the sd card that had all my outlaw 250 part 2 build videos on really really annoying so hey but this weekend i've got the uh, ar sonic wing um, I've got that thing, the uh, whatever that is, I can't remember, it's a Zod HD. I've got my um, fast thing. Um, I've got the Sky Surfer, whatever, there, that, there. Um, I am going to get this going again, this Pulse Jet Tame Cat. See that there, the Pulse Jet engine on it? Going to get that going again because now's the time to fly Pulse Jet. In the winter, there's no fire risk or very little fire risk associated with a Pulse Jet engine. So, going to give that a bit of a crack. Um, what else have we got? There's other things like, we've got a couple of dolphins here. I've flown those, they fly quite well, bit of fun. See what we can do. I was gonna convert one of those into a pulse jet because if you remember, I did, oh, there's another Zod plane down there. Don't look at the mess, don't look at the mess. There's a Zod plane. We perhaps could uh, get that going. There's my Nitro Bonsai. So I've got so much stuff. Look at all the stuff, look at all the planes. I really do have to get some of these back in the air and clear a space on the floor. This has got to be the biggest disaster of a workshop ever, doesn't it? You can't see anything for all the stuff. Hey ho. Oh well, anyway, so I just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up and there's even another pulse jet down here. Probably can pulse jet off my mini talon. Right, so that's what I plan to do. And go to the comments. Tell me what you'd like me to do apart from finish the Outlaw 250 build video, which I will also be doing because um, as you can probably see, we've only got natural lighting here. There's no, there's no um, artificial lighting over the build bench. And I don't have enough money this month to buy some um, LEDs or fluoros to put over the top. Next month, once the Patreon comes in, I'm going to put some lighting over this, this build table so I can work here no matter what the lighting, although I'm, I'm not going to be out here in the cold. Seriously, no way. But look at this. Have you seen this? Look at this. Builders, look, plywood. Look at that nice thin um, aviation ply. And look at the size of that sheet. I've got one, two sheets of that. And over there behind the models, I've got another four or five sheets of one and a half mil, one mil ply. Don't you wish you were me if you build models because this stuff is like gold. And James LeBay, who has been on my channel with his home built before, he died earlier this year and he left me this ply, which is great. In fact, he left a whole lot of it. I give him some to Ron, some to Bill because they use it. Now he's having it sitting around. Um, yeah, look at that build table, isn't it beautiful? That's gorgeous, that is. Right, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna get on and do some real work now. Thanks for watching, guys. As I said, to the comments and tell me what you'd like to see. Overregulation is like a tumor. It's killing a hobby. It must be terminated. Now!